my favor. Is it too late, you think, to get into Bitcoin? What's your view here? No, definitely not too late. See, I, I, the way that the way that I think of it, most of the world still has no idea what's coming. Most of the world has no clue. Most of the people just see, uh, they see that Bitcoin doesn't provide cash flows, so it's worthless. They see that Bitcoin doesn't have tax advantages like real estate, so it's worthless. They think that because it's not physical like gold, it's worthless. So I think we're so early. Most people have not understood the concepts. Most people don't understand the basics. They don't under, I mean, I keep in mind, I, I'm coming from, this is coming from the perspective of someone who really only recently started studying this thing. I only fully became, I guess, orange pilled in August, 2023. That's when I really figured it out. Before that, I was just thinking, I'm going to accumulate stocks. I'm going to accumulate real estate. I'm going to accumulate Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't compete with all these other assets. I actually have podcasts where I've said that Bitcoin doesn't compete with other assets. Uh, real estate has its utility, so real estate value will always go up. So, real, so Bitcoin is part of a balanced portfolio. I've said that in, in portfolio in podcast before, but I don't agree with that anymore. I think we're so early because there's only 21 million Bitcoin for 8 billion people in the world. Right now, the amount of Bitcoin that if if we if if we equally distributed all of that Bitcoin with everybody in the world, the amount of Bitcoin that you would get is worth like two hundred dollars. The amount of Bitcoin that you would get is worth like $200. So if you think about it, the savings of everybody on average in the world is worth $200 in terms of Bitcoin right now. But in the future, I think it'll be worth $10,000, $15,000, dollars for that small amount. And over time, it'll keep growing. It'll keep growing. It'll keep growing. So I don't think you're, I don't think you're too late. People have started after me and they accumulated more Bitcoin than I have. There are a lot of people who I've spoken to, people who have followed my content, people who have bought my webinars, for example, who went out and bought, let's say 20 Bitcoin, right? 20 Bitcoin just on the spot because they have that cash. They've been saving for so long. They're so scared of the old financial system. They just left that money in a, in a money market mutual fund. And now they finally realize that this is the way for the entire world to save with stocks. Not everybody can buy them with real estate. Not everybody can buy it. Prime real estate in the U S who has access to it. Not many people, a very, very small group of people has access to prime real estate. A very, very small group of people has access to even the Swift network. So many part, so many, so much of the world is completely just kicked out of the global financial system because of it being centralized. So no, we're not, we're not too late to Bitcoin, not even close. I thought I was too late in 2021. Now I feel like I wish I had bought more back when I finally realized what this thing is in around 2023. You're always going to feel that way. I think, I think in, in 10 years, $60,000 is going to be like, I wish I had bought more. I wish I had bought more. Why did I ignore it? Why did I think it was a Ponzi scheme? Why did I let, why did I just feed my ego and just make myself believe that I'm always right? And that I know everything, but I mean, you see that on Twitter, you see that on YouTube comments constantly, people just saying, Oh no, this thing is garbage. Warren Buffett knows what he's talking about. It's a rat poison. It's, this, it's that, but most, most of these people have done no research. So, I mean, no, we're not early. We're going a lot, a lot, a lot further. Most financial, in, most financial professionals don't even understand Bitcoin yet. And they're usually the first ones to actually understand an asset. So we are, I think we're at the very beginning. The, we're, we're still, I think we're still in the early adopters or innovators phase.